right, we'll go ahead and get started. A reminder to uh, please silence your cell phones for us. And then once you get the mic to ask a question, please give your name and affiliation. We'll start with a statement from uh, OSU head coach Kenny Gajewski, then go to questions to the OSU players, and then they're dismissed. And we'll go back to questions to uh, Coach Gajewski here. So if you have a statement, you can go ahead. Okay, uh, first off, congratulations to Tennessee. Um, they have a really good ball club and um, was great competing against them. Do it the right way. Um, Karen, what she's done with her staff and that team, um, very, uh, very, very impressed with what they've done. They've had a great year up to this point and um, wish them all the very best. I, I want to say thank you to Kelly, G Kelly Gatwood. Um, I know this job is, <laughs> is not easy. And what you guys have done here with the NCA to, to put this tournament on and uh, to get this field set, um, uh, being on the All American com Committee now, I I, I don't want to be on any of these things anymore. It's hard work. Um, Christy Breadbinner, um, thank you for your friendship, um, the way you took care of us. Why we're here, I love competing against you. Uh, more importantly, your friendship is uh, it means a lot. Um, I, too, will thank the Highway Patrol Officer uh, Vincent and his crew. Um, for those of you that don't know, we did start that, so I want to take credit on that. Um, I know we got in trouble the first year, but um, I don't care because I think, um, like Murph said, um, this is an amazing event, and anything that we can do to make this event better is what we've got to do. And um, it, it, it does make you feel like royalty. I feel like that anyways, just being in my job, in my position, coaching these type of kids. Um, I feel like that every single day. But driving down the, the uh, wrong side of the highway is a pretty cool experience. Um, and um, those guys um, are incredible. So um, I, I'm 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 so proud of this team, what they've done, uh, what they continue to do. Um, I need to thank Liz too. Th thank you. I saw you over there, and and you're a major part of this. So thank you. Um, I um, I'm just so proud of what these kids have continued to do here at OSU. They've raised the bar again. Um, we fell short, and um, that that part hurts. Um, that part is is the toughest part. But like I, to I told them, if you'll just keep kicking shins, they'll eventually break. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep kicking the shins of our opponents, and, and we'll eventually break this door down. And, and, um, and we'll look back to teams like this. I call them Team 8. Uh, we've had many more teams here at OSU, but it's my eighth team. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of these kids um, and what they've done. Um, and um, I'm just, uh, I'm honored to coach them. I'm honored to, um, to, to have this job and, and I'm just thankful. So, um, we'll take some time and regroup and to figure out how we can improve and, and, uh, and we'll be back. We'll be back right back here next year and, um, and make another run. Questions for players? Scott, in the second row, right. Scott Wright from the Oklahoma and Kylie. You've uh, you've been through this uh, four times now, and I'm sure it doesn't get any easier. But um, as you're here at the end, what what have the emotions of this last one been like for you? Um, I'm just really grateful to be a part of such an amazing program, and um, to be able to get here for the fourth time is just the best experience ever. Uh, but I'm also really, really sad because I never get to be with these girls ever again. So I'm just feeling a lot right now. More questions for players? Uh, we'll go to Jenny and then Dean again. Hey, Morgan, can you, uh, Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma, can you talk about your home run, but also just more generally the offense seemed to have moments of, surging but you guys could really never kind of get it all together tonight it didn't seem like um well we knew that our game plan against Ashley Rogers was not to chase and I think that's um kind of what we did a little bit tonight was chasing that rise ball from the box it I guess it looked good tonight so um that's kind of where we fell short was chasing after those pitches that were um intended for us to chase them but um I kind of 
fell victim to that in my first two at bats. And then I turned and I looked to my hitting coach right before that last at bat. And I said, what did I do? And she was like, you just got long. And so I knew the only thing I wanted to do was just get short in my last at bat. And um, the first two strikes I thought were a little too elevated for me. That Those were the pitches that I was chasing my first two at bats. And then that third one that I hit out, I was just, I was like, that's the one I want. And stayed short to it and long through it. We'll get it. Dean, second row right. Lexi, you came in uh, three and two-thirds. You didn't allow a hit but a couple walks. Can you just kind of talk about stepping into that moment for Kelly uh, tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like my job in that moment is just to get out of the inning and try and go back with and st- stop runs from happening. And so in that moment, I was just trust- trusting my defense because, I mean, they're they're everywhere. They're always going to be everywhere. So just going in there, I knew that they were going to have my back, and they did. Chris, third Chris Williams, CBS Oklahoma. Uh, Lexi, I believe you have another year of eligibility. Do you know if you're going to be using that? Yes, I will be. Yes, and I'll be coming back for sure. <laughs> and then for the other two, can you just kind of summarize what your time in Stillwater has meant to you? We'll start with you, Kylie. Um, it became my home the first second I stepped I stepped into Stillwater. Everybody was just open arms. I was nine and a half hours away, 18-year-old. So um, I just felt really comfortable, especially with – Coach G, having a coach like him, and just being able to lean on anybody within our faculty, they were just being open arms, and the time has been great there. Um, I've made so many memories, um, and I'll always have that to hold on to, so. Morgan. I'm sorry. Um, Stillwater has been life-changing. Um, I came in here a completely different person. Thank you. Um, and I'm leaving the person I wanted to become. And I told Coach G that, like, the second I got here was um, I was Morgan, the softball player, when I got here. And that's all I was when I was at my previous institution. And I came back. I came here and I turned into a woman who is, you know, ready for her career. And um, they just... They mean the world to me. It's really hard for me to explain, but I'm very grateful. Uh, yeah. More questions? Scott, you got Lexi, based on what you said about next year, can you kind of give us a little bit of a glimpse of kind of your thoughts of, of what this program, obviously you're losing some really important pieces, mm-hmm. but some other important pieces still going to be around for next year along with you? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think Coach G said we had 12 newcomers this year so we're definitely we're a younger team and we have so much potential and these seniors have just been everything we could ask for and they've they've taught everyone so much and they've led like no other and they just they've left they've left this place better than they found it and so I think we have we have so much room for growth and potential with our team next year and I mean we'll be in forever debt to these seniors because they're they've just made this place so amazing. Jenny? Morgan and Kylie, if you could, I know it's obviously hard right now, but if you can take a step back and think about this season, like Kenny was talking about, sort of what it could mean for the future. What, what's your sense or your hope of what this year means for the future? Um, I would just say being able to come here for those younger girls, giving them those this type of experience um, so young and being able to bring that to the next girls coming in and Starting off in the fall with the program, I think, is really, really going to be a big deal again um, with the next team and probably for however long they end up doing that. But I think that's going to be a really big factor into um, building team chemistry. And that's kind of why we're here today um, from the fall, just being able to work together through the hardest of times. Um, yeah, and I think they'll be okay. Um, I think that with having 14 newcomers and most of them being young, um, that really allows for this team to um, grow together with all of them having many years of eligibility and um, growing from a young team to a veteran team with most of those girls learning how to play with each other um, and probably all playing with each other with that you know, defense and lineup moving forward. Um, just having multiple years of that and that chemistry and that um, camaraderie, I think, is going to set us up for – you know, great future and, and multiple returns back to this tournament. Dean? 
for Lexi and Kylie. I know down the latter part of the stretch of the regular season, maybe getting back here was a little bit in doubt for you guys to to have reached this level and gotten a win and, and made, done something with this tournament run. What, what does that say about this program? Um, I don't think we ever doubted it. Maybe some other people outside of the program, but within, within the program, we've never doubted um, the work that we put in. Um, and I think we deserve to get, to get here. And, um, yeah, we just we work through everything. So I don't think we ever doubted each other. Yeah, just what Kylie said, I think it was mainly people on the outside that were doubting us. And I think we stayed calm and the coaches helped us stay calm within each other. And, like, we kept, like, reminding ourselves, like, this isn't – we don't need to worry because we're still OSU softball. And I think we needed to just look at the past and see what we've done and kind of – take that and look at all the good stuff and use that to our advantage. And so, yeah, I think it was definitely the outsiders that doubted us more than ourselves. <laughs> Any more questions for players? Okay. Thank you, Kylie, Morgan, and Lexi. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And y'all can take your name plates if you like. Questions for uh, Coach Kaiser? Hey, Kenny, about a week ago you talked about how tough this season or last year had been for you. And, I again, I know we're moments after this game is over, but as you think more long view about this season, what sort of comes to mind for you? You had obviously a supremely talented team that you said you wanted to win the last game, but how do you sort of look at this in entirety of this season? Well, right now it's hard, obviously, um, but I think we'll look back on this and 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 look back as a team with great success. I mean, they they had great success. We're we're better. Um, we didn't get quite as far as uh, as last year. Made one day short, um, but we're better for it. And um, I'm better. I'm a better head coach here today um, than I was last year at this time. Um, my staff just, I love, uh, what we're doing and, um, and, and how they're working. Um, it has, it's like, it's been a, it's been, a, it's been the hardest year, but I think honestly, um, this may be the most re rewarding year, um, at this point, you know what I mean? Um, it's hard to I hate taking that away from 2019 because that was the year that kind of started taking us up, but, um, we are just young and dumb you know what i mean we just didn't think we could get beat and 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 this year we kind of had that all that new stuff that kind of crept in and and had to deal with and you know it's a privilege and that's why i, I look at this we've been blessed with um so much and and um and and i just want our kids to appreciate that and i want them to respect that and and um like i told them in the the locker room there. I just want them to now um, walk out of this room when you're ready with a smile on your faces and be be, be proud. Um, we got down to the final five, final four, six, whatever it is, and 300, and th 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 300 plus teams. This game is getting hard. It's getting harder and harder every year to win. It's really hard to win here if you don't just click on all cylinders. It's um, it's rough, and and um, we just didn't play clean enough in a couple of these games, and and you get exposed, and um, it's the way it is. But I'm really proud. Um, I, I I I I don't know. I just feel I just thankful. I guess. We'll go to Marshall. Second one. Yeah, Marshall Scott, PFB. Kylie came in, big time recruit. Started from at shortstop from day one. She had some downs. She had her ups. Just kind of what has she meant to the program? Yeah, it's um, she's meant a lot. Um, I've been able to to write her name in it at shortstop for four or five years now, and it's um, it's going to be weird to not be able to do that. Um, it's going to be weird to not hit her ground balls every day. It's like playing a a video game, um, just trying to move her left, move her right beat her try not to you know try to get her into the, into some crazy spots and just it's beauty you know when you coach players like this it's just like every day is 
is a blast. You can't wait to to get out there. But I'm just proud of her. I, I'm we I I turned her world upside down this last year over the summertime by the changes that we made, asking these kids to grow, asking them in a fifth year that you know these fifth years have been really hard. Um, I, 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 I've said that it's, it's been difficult, um, uh, a blessing, but difficult. And she just came to work. She just comes to work every day. Um, and the way I can coach her and the way, um, the way, the way that she, that she trains, um, we'll be talking about Kylie forever. Um, and, um, um, can remember the uh, day that she said yes. And, um, it was an awesome day, and um, I um, I don't think I ever would have thought, hey, we'd be going to four World Series in a row because you're not thinking that, that far ahead. Um, but now that I've been able to coach her for five years, I'm like, not, I'm not shocked. You know, just an amazing kid, um, hard worker, talented. It's going to be very successful in life. We'll get it. Chris, third row right. Coach Chris Williams, News 9 OKC. What is it like for you to see the emotion out of your girls and to hear how much they're bonded with each other and with you and, and with the program you've built? I mean, that's what I signed up for when I decided I wanted to be a coach. You know, I mean, you don't sign up for press conferences and all the nice stuff and tough stuff that comes your way. You sign up because you just you love a game. You love being around young people. Um, it keeps you young. Um, and, um, and it's just like the satisfaction of watching them grow. So, um, I get to experience that every day. You guys just get to hear about it at times, but I get to live, to live this. And, um, I get to wake up each day and still have goosebumps when I walk into our, our front door. Um, it's still, that, that that's how I feel, and that's when we recruit kids. I tell them, "Hey, if if the hair on your arms doesn't stand up when you walk in, or your heart doesn't doesn't skip a beat, then we're, we're the wrong place, and that's okay." Um, but the kids that we have here, that's how they felt, and and so it makes it easy to to to, to step in and turn into the storm and go, and um, um, that's that's why you that's why we should be coaching, and. Um, I'm just glad that um, that these guys got to experience this again, um, and uh, one day when we we hoist the trophy, um, we'll be able to look back at all of them, and they'll be a major part of that. I still have all these girls from our first team that text me nonstop. We have a group me that probably over after they were done, it gets a little nastier, but um, uh, but they. Um, just I, I just keep telling them you guys started this and 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 look what you've done and you should be proud and so it's just cool to hear that it's cool to hear them regurgitate things that you say i think that's one of the things i kind of take a lot of pride in when they are saying things that we talk about it, it, it makes me feel good they're paying attention and they care and it's what it's all about cool. <laughs> John Walker, Stillwater News Press. Kenny, can you talk about what Team 8 meant, means to the fabric of this program moving forward and, and what it was like to, to kind of share that embrace with all of the girls individually after the after the game? I mean, it's just another amazing group. And, and um, I just look up and down. I just see kids like uh, Rachel Becker, who's been here for one year. Um, I think about Shy Factor who's been here, um, for five years. And, um, I think about Taylor Tuck who, you know, it's been, it's been a bumpy road. You know what I mean? We've just continued to bring, to recruit, try to recruit above her and, and she just continues to work and, and get better. And, um, and, um, you know, like I've said this in the past, most kids would have transferred a long time ago. She's put her head down and worked and that's a credit to her parents. I have a great group of parents on this team that, that, um, that, that are, that are about the, the right things. And, and when we re recruit, it's a big deal. So, um, I'm just, I'm so thankful that, um, we got to coach these guys just one more day. 
And, um, and when you get here, it's just, it's just hang on, hold on, survive. Um, and, uh, these guys never batted, denied. They didn't bat an eye after the first game when we played so poorly. Um, they were ready to play that next day and came out and answered. And that's just kind of what this program has to be, to be about. Said that from my first day, we've got to be tough and we're not quite tough enough yet. Um, and that's on me. I got to get better at that. I'm, I'm getting better at that, at, at creating that toughness because when you're here, it's, it's the tough of the, the, uh, tough. It's like an MMA fight. Um, and, um, um, we'll do a better job at that. Um, and, um, keep growing this and uh, we'll start looking forward to team nine here in a couple of days. All right. Scott with our last questions. Scott Wright with the Oklahoma and Kenny. Um, one question about the, uh, about the game. Um, the, uh, the play with Michaela at, at home plate looked like maybe you, um, changed your mind late as she was coming around. Yeah. And then also were you a little bit, um, surprised you didn't get the, uh, the obstruction call on the review? Um, the way we teach our base running at third is you have to run with your head up. And, um, I caught her eyes coming around, uh, short. So I was like, okay, I got her eyes. Uh, she's not the fastest runner on our team. Um, but it looks like it looked like that we may have a chance. So I kept sending her with the intention of, I could shut her down if I had to. And I got my hands up. She had her head down. She kind of hesitated. I think, um, that's what I felt. Um, so she saw me, um, but you know, it is what it is. We just, uh, we didn't get it done. Um, I, uh, I felt like it was obstruction from where I was. I was kind of halfway down, but you know, we have a great system the way this is being done. Um, if that's the way they saw it and it's not, then I'm good. Like there, there's no reason to complain and, 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 and cry about stuff like that. So, um, credit them. They had a nice play and they made it happen. And then you alluded to, to team nine a moment ago. Um, I know you're probably not thinking about it too much yet, but you've got some important uh, time on the field for some players here this week. What is that going to mean for those kids going forward? Yeah, it's going to be big. Um, you know, um, we've got we've got a lot of young kids here. I didn't get enough of them in enough time. It just kind of the, the kind of the uh, way it works. But obviously, uh, I think about Edwards and and Wark um, and 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 Daycock, um, the three that really like stand out to me. Um, obviously, Carwile back, um, Claire Tim and Katie Lott are two that got a lot of at bats. Um, We've already committed some kids out of the portal. Um, we've got a really good class that's coming in. I'll stay active in the portal. I'm going to stay active in NIL. So if you're out there, don't don't hesitate because I'm coming at you. So um, this is tough, man. This is this is getting tough, and um, uh, we're 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 loaded, and I'm ready to to, to go. And um, um, I'm just excited for the opportunities that our administration just continued to give us to take care of our staff, add the positions. We're, uh, we're going to add that, that fourth coach. Uh, we're going to add a full-time video coordinator as well. It's been a part-time gig. Um, we added the player d development last year. Um, I mean, I'm lucky to have what I have and the resources. I know that. Um, and uh, um, I'm excited to just, I'm excited to get back to the hotel and, and, and wind this thing down, but I'll be excited in a couple of days once we go through the meetings and, and all of that and, um, and get, um, get going on that. I just, I just, I'm also looking forward to a couple of days off before we have to hit the, the uh, road to recruit. So it's never ending. All right. Thank you, Kenny. All right, thanks, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.